Off of the gram. Love the gram. Oh, wait. Good morning, everyone. It's currently the early hours of the morning. When I say early hours, it's early for me. Currently in a car wash, not an automatic one. Don't attack me in the comments. Probably gonna get attacked in the comments anyway. Get my car wash before I go have my new modification done. If you've been following my Instagram, you'll know that I'm getting it done today. I'm so excited, like so excited. And yeah, we should get the car wash and then head in straight there and it's gonna be a day of filming. So we drove down last night, took us about what, two hours and a quarter? Literally run down after work. So by the time we got here and had food and everything, it was actually one o'clock in the morning. So we haven't had a lot of sleep, but we're here. And yeah, literally going straight there from here. So stay tuned. Hello. So we're now driving to the place. I'm excited, but I'm also pooping myself. Before I go in, we are here and we are at where's the sign? Ta da! We are at Scorpion for Mike's Sauce and I'm so excited. I don't know what that was. <laughs> so we're here now. I'm going to talk to them for a little while. We're going to get it done and I'm going to film the process. So I'm excited. Let's go in. tree in the background so people think on Christmas Eve. They've literally got boxes there with scorpion on. It's a little touches in life. We've just been outside, took some videos and stuff of the car. It's absolutely freezing because it's the start of December. Been out pulling it on the ramp and get some videos of that and then it's time. Oh, I'm so excited. The guys here are really nice too so shout out to them. Yeah we've been dealing with Charles. He's been absolutely great. Um so he's been taking some videos and stuff as well. Yeah exciting times. Underneath my car. Never been seen before. YouTube exclusive. <laughs> That's crazy. Look at my little springs. They need to be changed. Right, so this is the current stock exhaust. So it's a little bit dirty, obviously. But then this is the new exhaust. Look at the tips on this bad boy. That's sick. I'm so excited. So I'm currently on the floor of scorpion exhausts offices reception part because i didn't realize with my camera my camera is currently resting on the coffee table on top of some coasters but we're making it work 
my car's just gone in to have my exhaust put on. I showed us around the workshop and everything, the guy's really nice. But yeah, just want to have a quick sit down halfway through. Just give you a little update. So, if you haven't guessed it by now, getting an exhaust on my car. <laughs> yeah, so Scorpion. So, people are probably going to ask why I went with Scorpion over... Let's be real, there's three main contenders. That's not three, what is that? There's three main contenders, obviously, for exhausts within the car scene and stuff like that. So, I've done a lot of research on exhausts. Like, a lot of research. Like, to the point where I was like... Oh my god, what do I do? So, researched all of them, listened to the sounds, look at the different systems, everything like that. I'd have to drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Grumble. Yeah. Yes. And that's why you went with Scorpion. Mm. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, it smells loads better. Like, it's literally exactly what I wanted. Like, exactly what I wanted. Like, I just wanted a lower grumble and literally it's spot on. Oh, that sounds so much better. And literally yesterday as well, I was saying stock sounds pretty good actually, but. And I've heard this on like, yeah, so it doesn't sound that good anymore. Turn the car on by myself for the first time. That sounds so good. Is it is it bad to rev? Can you hear that now? No, I should keep it. Is it bad to rev it outside? exhaust obviously obviously quite a bit louder at a stand so we can hear it a lot more but if you want an exhaust why not so i don't think i've mentioned it but i went for the three inch catback non-resonated i originally went for the resonated looked at some reviews panicked and changed my mind to the non-resonated uh and he's after he's fitted it the guy said that he thinks that it might be a bit too loud for me because after what i described to him but I've just heard it and yeah, it's not too loud, I love it. It's quite a low grumble, which like I say, I was after, weren't I? So we're gonna draw off with it, see how it sounds. Yeah. 
even just like drawing off that. than stock but it's nothing extortionate is it it's not obnoxious is it yeah that's what it was for obnoxious but obviously you start to hear it between one and two when you're sticking it two and three from what i can tell so far it's pretty much no drone whatsoever which is perfect three to four is when it starts to get loud it's three when it kicks in when it really kicks in when it drops down though when you need to go down and get that sounds very low honestly nowhere near as bad as i thought it was gonna be like i originally went for the resonated because i didn't want it to be obnoxiously loud and i was seriously worried about droning but after looking at reviews and stuff i was like if i'm gonna do it i might as well just go for the non-resonated so shout out to charles <laughs> i messaged him i was like oh my god i'm panicking i was like i think i should go for the non-resonated so he switched it for me so see, now that i've got it in terms of droning it's really not bad when you're going about what 60 70 there's literally barely like zero droning like you can barely even hear the exhaust like if you're just cruising it just makes me smile every time i hear the exhaust but if you then put your foot down to obviously overtake someone or whatever that's when it kicks in it seems to just kick in at the perfect times as i said three to four thousand revs is louder than the rest of the rev range but if you consider how often like when you're cruising you're not cruising at three to four thousand revs so you're not having to was that green i think that was green <laughs> so obviously if you're cruising you're not really cruising at three to four thousand revs you're gonna obviously go a gear up and say if you at least that's what i do anyway as i say in terms of droning nowhere near as bad as i was expecting it to be so yeah i'm genuinely really pleased about that because that was something i was seriously stressed about so obviously the exhaust is warning quite a bit now from versus when we left and honestly i absolutely love it it's got quite a lot of different tones i would say between about one and two thousand revs it's quite deep but it also still sounds really naughty when you're pulling it off so that's about one to two, probably to three actually. Three to four gets really loud, like <laughs> really loud. So if you're looking for a loud exhaust, probably the way to go, especially between three and four thousand revs. My personal favorite, other than pulling off, is between four and five thousand revs. That is my favorite, that is my sweet spot. It sounds so good. So massive shout out to the whole team at Scorpion. Obviously I got invited down for the day, they fit the exhaust for me. Top quality customer service. The guy who I've been dealing with over Instagram has been intensely helpful. He's dealt with my meltdown when I decided to change my exhaust a couple of weeks before we went. So massive shout out to Charles. Charles. Charles, yeah. Sorry, I'm really bad with names. Yeah, their place down there is really cool too. I'll show you a pull, but I'm currently on a, like a 50 or 60 road. And uh yeah, there's a lot of traffic because it's near front park so but yeah i would say that's like my first impressions as i said i can't thank the guys at scorpion enough they've been absolutely amazing and i honestly love the exhaust so in terms of scorpion's website and instagram and stuff obviously i'll leave them in the description down below i'll leave all the links in their instagram and i'll leave the link to the exact uh, exhaust system that i got again um which was the three inch cat back non-resonated 